Hello. So in this video, I'm going to get started with setting up um, a GTN campaign. And let's dive right into it. Mm, you go into your Google Ads account and you click on new campaign. You just need to make sure that you're at the campaign level over here. All right? New campaign. Now here's where a lot of confusion happens as to which option you need to choose. Now there is one which says create a campaign without the goals guidance. This does not mean we are not tracking conversions at all. Um, I always use this one because this gives me all the full features of Google Ads whereas some of these uh, you will not get all the features especially the bidding ones as some of these ones have only got automated bidding uh, we want to completely go manual initially and then go on to uh, target ROAS or target CPA uh, bids so I usually always start with create a campaign without a goal right then we want the display You don't want to go smart display um, you just want to check the second one which is the standard display campaign now it will ask you for your website um, I'm really not sure what uh, this does but hey ho uh, it's, it's there just enter your web address and if you want to find out what uh, this means and why they want it uh, it says this step helps customize your campaign setup to focus on settings and features that can help you get the customer actions that matter most to your business. Well, I'm not sure how Google can do that just by looking at a website. But anyhow, um, I just put it in. If you want to take it out, it really doesn't matter. Then you set up your campaign name. So I'm just going to call it uh, GTN campaign. Now the naming convention is where uh, a lot of people uh, get confused as well as to how uh, you want to keep it. So the way I keep it is I would put in over here uh, the country first of all, then uh, GTN and IMG is for image. There are different types of ads as well. You can run text ads as well as image ads. So you can either for text ads I would do text. For IM image I would do image. If I'm running 24/7, and then what I do is I put in a, a target uh, CPA or ROAS. So if I'm let's say my I'm generating leads and I want to buy a lead at uh, 10 pounds CPA then I can just uh, make it like that so it's up to you how you want to uh, name it quite often what I also do is instead of making it as a GDN I set it up as um, the name of the targeting so in this campaign I'm targeting by keyword or by topic or whatever so it's entirely up to you it's not a big deal how you uh, uh, name your campaign but if you have a consistent uh, naming convention then it looks it's much easier to manage them afterwards uh, choose your location in the case over here I've got uh, UK or you can also uh, go by advanced search and go by radius around a certain location, i.e. your city or town, etc. I'm going to cancel that. Uh, in the target one, I want to choose the second one, people in or regularly in your targeted location. So I only want to target people in the UK. Language is English. Uh, what do you want to bid on at the moment? Now what Google have done is they've made it a little bit tricky as to how to find the manual beds because you you can see that you can uh, you only have uh, the folk, uh, the bidding on for conversions or conversion value but if you click on here then you get all the various options 
uh, manual CPC, target CPA, target ROAS, and so on. Uh, Maximus clicks and the Maximus conversions uh, you need to test out, but they they're not one of my favorite ones. Uh, manual CPC is mostly I use, and then once I've got enough uh, conversions, then I go to target CPA. But if you are running a an e-commerce uh, website, then I would say you go after the ROAS instead of the cost per acquisition. The CPM or the viewable CPM is the cost per thousand. So if you are running a brand campaign where you just want to get your name out there in front of your audience, then I would say use this one. And this is also used for the video campaigns as well, for video ads. Um, so CPM means cost per thousand. So you will not get charged per click. Uh, if somebody clicks on your ads, then you will just be charged that viewable uh, cost per a thousand impressions right okay so I'm paying for clicks I don't want to run a with enhanced CPC st to start with I just want to have a simple uh, bidding option strategy of manual CPC your daily budget whatever you are comfortable with uh, always keep it standard at the moment uh, to start with uh, I never use accelerated because it tries to use the budget as quickly as possible uh, in the first part of the day. Under additional uh, ad rotation, what I tend to do is I tend to start with do not optimize because I want to get each and every ad run as much as possible. So that I can see which ones are working, which ones aren't working. Well, it's up to you how you want to uh, run. If you want to uh, run with the best performing ads, that's fine. But we, I'll show you that how I set up all the multiple uh, ads in each uh, ad group. Schedule, you can set up your schedule in here, whether you want to run on certain days or all days and what time of the day you want to, to run your ads start or end date uh, if it's for a special event or occasion then i would say put in the end date so that even if you have forgotten um, the ads won't overrun and it will stop on on that date uh, devices i will show you afterwards how i make three separate campaigns one for mobile one for computers and one for uh, tablets and then run them separately and see which one is performing the best and in fact um, in there I had forgotten to put in if I was running this campaign for mobile only then I would put in mob or tablet for TAB or computer would be COM and then I can see it straight away that this campaign is for mobile only and then I will only run mobile the reason I'm, I split them up is mobile will always eat up all the budget and the other two uh, devices don't get a look in so if i have got a separate budget for each one of them then i can see which ones are performing and which one isn't performing and let's say if the computer is not performing then i can switch it off completely and put that budget into the mobile or the tablet you don't need to uh, worry about the frequency uh, capping because we are not doing a remarketing campaign right now um, neither this uh, campaign URL options or dynamic ads we are just uh, running a standard uh, ads and then you can choose which conversion uh, you want to set up uh, if you have got specific conversions which you have set up in your account then obviously you choose this one otherwise you can just set up a conversion at account level let's say uh, sign up to a newsletter that could be a conversion or a lead a new lead or a form fill or a contact us page has been uh, visited and a form has been submitted or a phone call has been made so i just use the account level uh, for the time being in here you can exclude where you don't want your ads to show through so if you don't want your ads to show on certain websites then you just check them off and they won't be uh, shown then you set up your 
ad group name now there's lots of different ways to set up the ad groups and I'll go through with you um, in detail but as this campaign is about keyword targeting then I'm just going to call that call this ad group uh, keywords and I am going to go down now you will see this content um, targeting over here and this is where you will add your keywords in so you can see uh, digital marketing is showing me the keywords on the basis of that URL which I had put um, in at the top uh, in the campaign setup or you can enter a product or a service and then it's going to give you uh, relevant keywords and then you all you do is put them up in one at a time or you can copy and paste them from your keyword research um, but you just make sure that you put in one keyword per line and you do not want to be using any match types just go with broad match because the other ones will not work so you don't need to worry about exact phrase or broad modified yeah. now over here you have two options this is grayed out at the moment but over here content only show ads on web pages apps and videos related to these keywords so I'm telling Google that okay show my ads on those uh, pages of uh, CNN or Huffington Post where these kind of uh, keywords are uh, are on there I find that is not very accurate Google will go on a tangent and show you as to all sorts of uh, on pages and websites and you really need to make sure that you are excluding them um, as you as time goes on but I will show you other ways of targeting your audiences which is a lot better than just um, targeting by keywords uh, targeting expansion so I tend to keep it around the lower end because as you go wide more um, you will increase the traffic but then the relevancy also goes down so I tend to keep it here uh, on the left hand side add group bid I'm just gonna keep it at 50p if your ads don't run then increase the bids so it says here typical bid for campaigns with similar targeting is 43p so I'll just put it a bit more and I'm gonna create uh, show you how to create ads um, in in the next video so that's it for now and I'll see you in the next one